So these are widgets here. They show you useful information like your calendar with upcoming events, the weather or the clock or the battery life of your different devices. My favorite widgets are all of these ones right here. This first one here is the calendar one, the official Apple calendar. I like this one because it shows you all of your upcoming events on the calendar and if you specifically get the biggest one they have out there which is this one and this one will show you up to three days ahead in terms of calendar events as you can see which can be very useful if you are a forgetful person so now that i have got all of my bluetooth devices paired this one and this one you can see how if i zoom in you actually have battery indicators for all of the devices right here which makes it easy to check compared to if you look over here there's a tiny battery indicator which only shows one device i think this one's much better then you also have this one here which is a digital clock so if you look at the clock widgets from apple officially you'll see how they have a couple here unfortunately they are all analog clocks and these ones take longer to read in my opinion so instead i got this one over here which is a digital clock which is from this app called widget smith so if I open this, you can see how they actually let you create a variety of different widgets that you can add to your home screen. For example, so if I come over here, click plus, and then I come over to widget smith, and then pick a large widget. And if I press and hold, click on edit widget, then I can pick whichever ones I have made. And you can see here, I've chosen to have a photo, one of the photos from my gallery to show up here as a widget, which can be useful if let's say there's like a favorite quote you have or a photo of like your favorite pet or whatever that you can put on the home screen. I'm not sponsored by them, but I have been using them for like a while now since they officially supported widgets on iOS. Then of course we have the weather widget over here. It shows you up to four days ahead in terms of weather forecasts. You also see the upcoming weather for today on an hourly basis, which can be useful if you know it's gonna rain today, but don't know when exactly it's gonna rain. That's actually very useful. And if you tap it, it'll take you into the weather app where you can see more data if you care. Now, another cool feature about widgets is that you can actually stack widgets. So if you look at this one over here, you can actually swipe between a bunch of different widgets. And so the way that you do that is you tap and hold on a widget. They have to be of the same shape, drag and drop on top. You'll see this outline here show up, let go just like that. And then you have a stack of widgets that you can scroll through. And if you click on edit stack like this, you can then allow for smart rotate where the iOS will try and guess which widget you wanna see at different times of days. Like for example, maybe in the morning, you wanna see a weather widget to see what the upcoming weather will be. And then later on, you get something different. You also get widget suggestions, which just turn it off. It's useless. And you can also remove any widgets within your stack, just like that. 